It's broken. <laughs> No, there's water everywhere. Oh no! Oh no, that's an outlet. That's an outlet. What do I do? Do I unplug it? Do I unplug it? Or no, I'm unplugging it. Ah! I have a lot of plants out there that don't like water, so let's uh, all just take a moment of silence for them. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have an unboxing. We have a tarantula unboxing from Fang Hub Tarantulas. Oh. And I also have a bunch of P.O. Box stuff to open. So I guess before we open the P.O. Box stuff, we should probably check on the tarantula to make sure that it's okay and also see what size it is because I'm not exactly sure what size enclosure to use for it yet. Of course, I already lost my scissors. Like I literally just had them, but it's okay. See, who needs scissors? Not me. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, this package is from Fang Hub Tarantula, as you guys know. Amy is one of my good friends. She runs the business, and she was also kind enough to give me a code. It's CAT15. You guys will get 15% off of all of your orders this week. But after that, the code is CAT10, and that code never expires. But anyway, okay. Moment of truth and robustum. Here it is. So as you guys probably remember, I did have a couple of these. So one of them was a male and he died. And then the other one was a mature female and she stayed underground like 24 seven. And then I noticed for like a couple months, she wasn't even coming out to eat anymore. So I kept like watering her and like I did offer food, but I would always pull it within 24 hours. And I don't know like what happened or when it even happened. But one day I finally got curious because it had been so long since I had seen her. She hadn't eaten. I never recommend digging a tarantula up unless you really suspect there's a problem, and I did at that point. And unfortunately, I was right. She had passed away at some point, and it was really gross because I didn't know she had died, and I kept watering her. So I was like really upset about that. Amy told me that she was actually going to be getting M. robustum soon, and they're actually smaller. I bought her mature, so I don't really know like how old she was or anything like that. But now that I have a smaller one, it'll be cool because I actually have like an idea of if it's old or young or just right in the middle. I'm not entirely sure though what size it is. So let's go ahead and check it out. I hope it's okay. I really like this little vial. Okay, I'm gonna be like really careful. Let's do this over a table just in case. All right. Oh, right there. All right, cool. Ooh, as you see, it looks really pretty. Now these are a little feisty, so um, I'm not gonna really test it and poke at it much until it's time to rehouse it. So I'm gonna let it just kind of chill here for a minute and decompress from all the shipping. And let's go ahead and open some things from the P.O. Box. The mail's here. So I had opened this a while ago from one of my patrons. This is from Stella's Whatnot. She makes really cool stickers and stuff. And she had sent me this. And I remember I filmed opening it and something happened to the footage. I don't remember exactly what the problem was, but something happened to that footage and it had to get cut out. So I did get these. Thank you so much, Stella. They're really cool. Let's start with the letters though. Let's see. Aw, thank you so much, Isabel. And yes, I will put it in a video. Thank you. That's really sweet. And thank you for watching my videos. All right, next up comes from Lacey. You totally should get a tarantula and an Arizona blonde or a Brazilian black are both great choices. Lacey also said that she bought this paperweight off eBay and she wanted me to ID it. If I had to guess, I would think that it is a mature male, a Phonopelma species. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but I would definitely guess some kind of a Phonopelma species. Maybe Maybe some people down in the comments can help you out more. This is from, oh, the sticker's over it, but it's from Canada. This tarantula has not moved at all. It's just hanging out, hanging out. Okay, I'll stop that right now. This is from James and he is in Canada and he says that he has been keeping tarantulas for over 30 years and he also recommends a couple books including the Tarantula Keeper's Guide. I actually have that book and that's a really cool book and a great recommendation. And it's a really long read so I'm gonna have to sit down later and read it all but thank you so much James and that's really awesome that you've been keeping that long. All right, next we have this package. It is from Ashley, a fellow Missourian. So they have actually been wanting to get a jumping spider and they ended up getting one so congratulations on that and they also said that they made a clay jumping spider really cute sticker also 
Ooh, that lightning though. I don't have my camera two down there on, so <laughs> I'm gonna awkwardly open it like this. Oh my God, this is adorable. It's a little clay jumping spider. Thank you, thank you so much. I love it and I will totally put it with my shelf of special little things. You guys are really filling that shelf up. I love it though. Now this box is from Canada and I, I know a couple people in Canada and I know one of them sent me a package. Kat, Eric, and Fiona. I got some Reptiliata stickers up in here. <clears throat> Dear Kat, Eric, and Fiona, thank you so much for your support and viewership, and thank you so much for being my YouTube family. Oh, and he wrote a special note for Fiona to take good care of what's in this box. For the sake of the video, I will be opening this, but don't worry, I'm gonna put it back in the box and uh, let her open it herself when she gets home. I'm so safe. Nobody's as safe as me. Okay. <sighs> How do you do this? Oh my god, these are so cool. It's an isopod. Look at this. Fiona loves isopods. She loves, we call them roly polies. I know everybody calls them different things. When she was like really little, she stole one from outside and was like playing with it in her Barbie house. Thank you so much, Diane. And I'm actually going to just wrap it right back up. So we got one more and then we have to rehouse the M. robustum, which should be a lot of fun because they are, like I said, a little crazy. This actually comes from Danny over at Keeper Cards. Now I'm not really sure what it is, but all right, what could this be? Oh, what am I, what is it? Oh, cool! It has the like anatomy of everything. Really cool, I wasn't expecting this. Thank you so much, Danny. That was really nice of you to send it to me. Okay, so that was all my PO box. Thank you guys so much for sending me things. Like, you don't ever have to do that. Let's go ahead and rehouse this M. Robustum now. All right, so I think this will be a good size enclosure for it. It's just the medium terrestrial tarantula cribs enclosure. Yeah, that should be like a really good size, I think. I am so happy to have this species again. Like, and I, I waited to get it from Amy specifically. If you guys remember, I literally just went to that expo and I saw some M. Robustum, but I knew that Amy was getting some and I was like, no, refrain from buying one today. So I've been waiting just a little bit for this. Fresh bag of Reptisoil. This little guy, I'm just keeping him right here because he's so cute we need to name it what are we gonna name it all right so m robustum really do like to burrow so we want to make sure we accommodate that it's so scary to me because the female m robustum i had like i said she stayed burrowed like all the time so it was impossible for me to see her unless she like rarely decided to come out to eat or something so it's just like i know that they need to burrow and it, this one is going to need the substrate to burrow because that's what they want to do and that's how they feel secure and that's what is natural to them however it just really stinks because i'm just so scared the same thing's gonna happen it's so frustrating with a tarantula species that you just like never see because it's always like a guessing game <laughs> So yeah, I'm like giving it a ton of substrate and everything to make it feel comfortable, but I'm hoping that it, at least it will make a burrow like somewhere that I can see it. So I'm gonna like put this cork kind of in like this area and like prop it up. So I'm hoping that it'll like make a little hide back here. I'm gonna dig it out a little bit and just try to make it to where it's gonna go over there. That way I can kind of check on it a little bit better. It's like so helpful when you actually have a window. Yeah. So I went ahead and like kind of pre-dug it out under here. You know what I'm saying? I'll just kind of like try to get it to go that way. It'll naturally want to go and seek like shelter pretty quickly anyway. So this should work. And of course, put some leaves up here. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and use this little deli. These are pretty easy. I'm trying to decide if we should put a plant in this. Well, we, yeah, we could put a plant in it. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it though because it's probably gonna just dig it up. We'll just take this one little piece, I guess. Pretty much if it digs it up, it digs it up. No big deal. Even if the plant, you know, <laughs> doesn't live, it's still gonna offer some something, I guess. So yeah. Oh, we should probably water it too. And we will go ahead and add some springtails. Oh my gosh, so many of them just hopped out. All right, so I think this enclosure is really nice. Check it out. We got the substrate. For size comparison, that should be a pretty good amount. We got a nice big water dish. And then we got one little pothos leaf. We'll see how it goes. Some, you know, leaf litter. Nice big piece of cork. And of course we have springtails. I love these enclosures though, cause they're just so easy to just make them look so nice. I don't know. 
They're like a little slice of outside. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this and robust them out. All right, I can't tell if that's its butt. Did it turn around? Okay. Got the tube out. Oh yeah, it turned its butt at me. That is like not the end I want, my dude. There's a paw. I hate making it do the, the loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> Make it dizzy. I wonder if tarantulas actually get dizzy though. Probably not, okay. See, now it's upside down. <laughs> It's broken. <laughs> so something about these guys that I should probably mention is they have very weird movements. Oh, there we go. I was gonna cut that off just in case it decided to run up that way. I love this species. And I think I've like said before, it's one of my favorites. I say that a lot, but like it really is. It's such a really cool species. Check it out. Wow. Oh my God, look, it's got the butt up in the air. That's like their famous thing to do. See, it's like, it's actually threat posing me. This is like their little temperamental thing. Apparently they can do this crazy kick thing. I don't know if we want to see it, <laughs> but just in case. Oh no, it's getting in the water. Go, 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 go quick, quick, go, go. It's so mad. <laughs> wow, it hasn't completely lost patience with us. Check this out. Oh my God, it looks so good with these leaves. See? Oh, really good. Yes. I love it, love it. I really hope that it's female. That would make me even happier, but I'm just happy to have this species back. It's just such a great species. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Fang Hub Tarantulas. I have her cat 15, gets you 15% off this week, cat 10 after, and yeah, all right. Bye! Just kidding. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to Don't forget I've been a probably way too much. Is that trances.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. And it's all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.